Hello again, my name is Rodney Reynolds and welcome to another video review. Today I'm looking at the High Point Rocket Raid 1640 controller. What is included in this package are four serial ATA cables, drivers, a manual, and the controller. This is a four channel RAID host adapter. Right here is where you connect up to four serial ATA hard drives or you can connect your regular ATA 100 hard drives into this but only if you have a rocket head 100 converter for each hard drive. This card also has a host side interface of 32 bit 33 megahertz and it provides multi-level RAID support including RAID 5, 0, 1, 1 and 0 and JBOD. And depending upon what RAID configuration you select will dictate whether you're leaning towards performance, security, or a combination thereof, or maybe you just want to span a group of hard drives. I'll go over more on RAID in just a second, but if you're leaning towards performance, you can get results up to around 1.5 gigabytes per second. That's very fast. This product also supports all of the new operating systems on the market and is very well suited for nearly any corporate, industrial, or home environment application. Now what does RAID stand for? Well, depending on who you ask, you might get a couple of different meanings. RAID can stand for Redundant Array of Inexpensive Discs or Redundant Array of Independent Discs. Either way, a RAID is a method of combining many drives into one unit or an array. And there are a few different RAID levels, RAID 0, RAID 1, RAID 0 plus 1, as well as JBOD. Now, first of all, I'll tell you what JBOD stands for. Well, it stands for just a bunch of disks, and that's basically all it is. For example, if you have two 100 gigabyte drives, it's going to equal 200 gigabytes in total. There's no security, there's no redundancy, there's no performance. It's just a bunch of disks. Now let's go back to RAID 0. RAID 0 offers no redundancy, so no security, and it's sometimes called striping. This RAID level offers very high performance in comparison to other RAID levels. For example, RAID 1. Now that offers you mirroring, which is going to give you redundancy. For example, if you have two 100 gigabyte drives, one of those drives was to fail. You can just yank it, put another one back, and you've lost no data. If you compare this to RAID 0, if you lose a drive in a RAID 0 array, you're out of luck and you're going to lose the complete array. And when everything is installed, power up your system. It will then scan for the hard drives. Press Control H to get into the Rocket Raid BIOS settings utility because in here is where you will create the array. For example, you can create a RAID 0, RAID 1, RAID 0 and 1, 5 or JBOD. You can delete the array. You also got a number of other options in this BIOS settings utility. This product offers excellent performance, it's reliable, it's affordable, and you've got a number of different RAID configurations. Whether you're looking to get this product for security, keeping all your data safe, or maybe you want it for raw performance, either way, it's a kick-ass product. Again, my name is Rodney Reynolds, and this has been another video review. Be sure to check back very soon. I will have a brand new one for you. Then also pop into my website at www.3dgameman.com. And while you're there, you can go into the forums and register. And remember, registration is completely free. Also keep in mind, you can find out a lot more on this product in the forums. And as a final note, if you love watching my video reviews, please help support 3dgameman.com. Until the next time, take care.